Welcome back to the channel. I want to go over a hotly asked topic about throttle position sensors. Everyone with Megasquirt that is new that I've seen recently has a lot of questions about this and I wanted to shed a little bit of light on it. Basically all throttle position sensors from the late 80s to probably like the mid 2000s until things went drive by wire function almost exactly the same and are very similar. They are all, for the most part, there are some very old ones that are in the mid 80s that aren't this way, but basically late 80s and on, they are all three wire potentiometer style sensors. They're a very simple device. They almost all use this same uh, style of, of bore. So right here you can see this pin, that shape is very ubiquitous um, between a lot of different brands, makes, and uh, models. But what you'll find is the biggest difference is how far this sticks out and where the mounting screws are for different sensors. So this one happens to be off of a BMW M52 engine. And you can see right here, this is the matching throttle body for it. This guy fits on there with no problems. Just slides on, I could put the screws in right here and it would just fit on there no problems. Well, what's cool about these is even though, so you can see right there, it just slides on. Even though this is from 1997, I can take a 1985 BMW, uh, this is off of an M30 engine, I can put the same sensor on this uh, throttle body. The difference is, you can see right here, this this piece that connects to the center of the throttle plate sticks out a lot further. And the mounting is in a different position. But guess what? That doesn't matter because when you have Mega Squirt, it just sees, it just needs those three wires of a potentiometer style uh, throttle position sensor. Regardless of what brand it is, it just needs to see those three wires connected and get a signal from whatever your throttle plate is. So it could be an LS, it could be off of a you know, Toyota 2JZ, it could be an old BMW, it doesn't matter. What's really cool though is if you have the ability to 3D print, you can make adapters. So there's a lot of different uh, designs out there. You can whip stuff up really easily. You could make this out of wood. You could make it out of anything that uh, would adapt the bolt pattern and the whole the whole diameter right here of this piece that sticks out with the o-ring to give you the right spacing to make this work so let me show you that like this guy if i drop him on there he just slides all the way in i'm not going to do that because i can't get it off while filming with one hand but basically this adapter here sets on like this you put some screws through and some bolts and it spaces out to fit an older style throttle body. So let me show you that real quick, just so you can get a visual on it. But basically, you just drop this guy on there, put the screws here. There's a little adjustment back and forth on these screws just so you can get it so it's somewhat centered in the range of motion because these don't continually spin all the way around. They go back and forth a certain amount. And then this guy just slides on like that and, and you can screw it on. But what's cool is this concept isn't just BMW. This is anything. And there's tons of different adaptions out there where you can use Honda throttle position sensors, on Toyotas and Toyotas on BMWs and BMWs on Hondas. It, it doesn't matter. So don't worry about it. Just make sure that you have it wired correctly and adapted to your throttle plate and you're going to be fine. I'll go over some of the wiring in a little more detail and in a video on the Mega Squirt Tuner Studio software of kind of how it's set up, but really don't stress it. There's plenty of ways to adapt it. And something as simple as a $5 3D printed part 
that you can find for free on Thingiverse uh, can get you going in a heartbeat. We're back in the studio. I've got a few examples here. Let's get into it. You've probably seen a potentiometer in the form of a knob on like a guitar amp or uh, something that is older, like a volume knob on an amplifier or something like that, where basically you just start at zero and you go over to a hundred and that's, that's like your range right there. Well, this is exactly what your throttle position sensor is doing. It's telling your ECU a value. It's not exactly, uh, the same values as you would use for an amplifier, but it has a value of zero to a hundred. That's what it's telling you. When the throttle play opens, it's saying zero to a hundred. And it uses, like I said, three wires. I'm going to show you an example here. You have power, which is a five volt reference, your signal, which goes to the TPS wire on your mega squirt, and then ground, which is sensor ground on your mega squirt. And if you want to know how it works, it basically just gives you a variable resistance between uh, positive and negative, the 5 volt reference and the ground, and your middle pin, which is the signal, has a wiper that goes back and forth between a wire that connects the ground and the positive, and it changes the resistance. So you'll get like, you know, 400 ohms down to like 30 ohms, something like that. And that's all an ECU needs to see. This is a Speedduino. They're very similar to Megasquirt products. But what I'm trying to get across here is it doesn't matter if you have a Link ECU, a Speedduino, a Megasquirt. They're going to have some spot for throttle position and V-Ref, which is voltage reference, a 5-volt reference. And this particular model has a V-Ref return, or sorry, throttle position return, which is just a sensor ground. And you just take the TPS, hook it to this middle one, and then you put 5 volt reference, which is going to be the VREF on one pin. And then you take the TPS return, which is actually just ground. So you take sensor ground from whatever ECU it is, and you put it to the other side. Make those a solid connection, hook it to your throttle body, and that's it. Really, it's that simple. Many, many aftermarket ECUs and OEM ECUs use the same method, and it can be very simple. Even if you wanted to, you could rig a potentiometer that you found on eBay or Amazon to work on a throttle body. Obviously, it wouldn't be the best way to go because there are a lot of throttle position sensors that just work for those uh, specifics, but... Even uh, a carburetor, you could rig a throttle position sensor if you needed to data log on that. It's really one of the most basic sensors on an engine, and I hope this helped you learn a little bit more about how they work. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. 97% of you are not subscribed, and it would help the channel grow if you like to see more content like this. Thanks. Have a great one.